from the News Channel 5 Network, this is Pharmacist On Call. Good evening, Nashville, Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky, those of you as far west as Clarksville. And Jackson, Tennessee, those of you as far east as McMinnville, welcome to Pharmacist On Call with your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt. And if you are watching this show, that's right, I am your community pharmacist. Everyone, welcome to season five, episode five. That's right, we've been doing this for about uh, five seasons now. This is our fifth episode. This is your one hour forum to call in with those burning questions and comments that you've had and probably scared to ask your doctor. And let's face it, your doctors are busy, your pharmacists are busy, they don't have time, but for this hour, I do. So call in with those questions and those comments. Uh, wanted to get into uh, a few shout outs as we do uh, typically here. Uh, wanted to, first of all, congratulate uh, some friends of mine uh, who were uh, elected during the elections uh, last week here. Uh, so I want to send a big uh, shout out to Vince Dixie, uh, winning the uh, state representative uh, post out there uh, in the Bordeaux area. So uh, congratulations, Doubt. I also wanted to congratulate uh, Brenda Gilmore, uh, Ms. Fran Bush, and our Representative Love on being reelected. I uh, wanted to uh, also uh, say congratulations to my niece, Chelsea Thomas, on the birth of her son, Carter James uh, Thomas. Uh, he was born that's last week, I guess, last Thursday or Friday. Uh, so Chelsea, um, my niece, sticks to me like Velcro. So uh, my baby before I had my first baby. So it's really weird to see her uh, being a mother now. So congratulations, Chelsea, and uh, the best of luck. I also wanted to send some belated birthday shout outs. Uh, two very good friends. Uh, first of all, Chandra Wynn, uh, my home girl, known since forever. Uh, so Chandra, happy belated birthday. Also, uh, happy belated birthday to uh, Judge Allegra Walker, very good buddy of mine. Uh, also, congratulations, she got engaged on her birthday. Uh, so, congratulations to she and her fiance. Good luck to both of you. And it uh, looks like we've got our first call here, so we are gonna check in with them. Chris, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Yes, I was actually calling to, um, I had a question as far as like over-counter medication. Um, I think I have, um, a rheumatoid arthritis, and I keep taking um, Advil, Advil, and I know that's something that messes up my stomach. So I'm just trying to see what can I use over the counter to relieve some of my pain. Good question, Chris. So let's do a couple of things. Uh, let's first of all look at turmeric, which I believe I have with me here. Uh, this product here, it is a natural anti-inflammatory and has a, a host of other health benefits. Uh, but turmeric, uh, it's actually a spice. So if you've had curry goat, curry chicken, okay. it's curcumin. Uh, so I recommend this to a number of my patients. And even if they've had like bone on bone, knee and hip issues, they've all responded to this. So I would do this with some alkaline water. And then the second thing I would recommend, uh, maybe slightly above that, is the hemp oil, the, the CBD oil. Uh, which has now been legal since May of last year, uh, for those of you who are concerned about the legality. Uh, so this is also great for not only uh, inflammation, but for chronic pain, period. And so we had a number of people respond, no matter what their pain issue came from, they responded to this hemp oil. So I would probably uh, go that route, maybe start with the turmeric, or you could do both, uh, because they work in different they work in different pathways in the body. So you may use, in fact, I use both. Uh, so they're great to keep me from being sore uh, before and after I work out. Uh, and actually, uh, man, turmeric keeps me from getting up at night having to go to the bathroom, it's strange. Uh, but what it does is it decreases the inflammation in my prostate gland, keeps me from getting up and having to use the bathroom at night. So cool. turmeric All and hemp right. oil is the, the route I would go. All right, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Uh-huh, have a good one, bye-bye. Right, you too, all right, bye-bye. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. I mean, we help you. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Dr. Pruitt? Yes, ma'am. How you doing? I'm fine, dear. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. How's it going? Oh, uh, all right. Listen, before I get into my question, uh, what is that in front of you? Do you have a tripod camera in front of you? Yes. I am uh, Facebook living uh, from our Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy Facebook page, so not everyone is able to view it. Uh, through Comcast or through the regular television, so I'm making it available to all the people who have liked the Facebook page. Well, that's wonderful. That's yes, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, I have a question I'm going to ask. Yes, ma'am. Um, hello? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. 
Yes. I have a question about the root juice. Yes, ma'am. Uh, is this still the same formula that you started out with in the beginning? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, so, well, I used I used two different companies. Uh, so now they may have changed who they use to manufacture it, but it's the same company that I buy from. I so, see. Yeah, yeah. So there may be some some variation there. Uh, so I used. Uh, oh, go ahead. What was your question? Well, no, I was just so. But the efficacy of it is still the same. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. It will still lower the blood pressure. It will still lower the A1C. Your blood sugar. It will still help the liver, pancreas, kidneys. So yes, okay. ma'am. Same health benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, I see. Um, well, I need to know that. And yes, ma'am. Uh, well, I mean, before I, you know, stop taking it or anything, I just wanted to be sure. Yes, ma'am. Um, it has been quite a while, and it has always been really good for uh, just about everything. E yes, ma'am. But I wanted to be sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> So, thank you, Dr. Pruitt. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. You have a great rest of the show, and I'm going to watch the rest of it right now. Uh, okay. Good night, dear. All right. Good night. All right. Bye-bye. By the way, that's my mother, everyone, so uh, she's a, a, <laughs> a regular caller. All right. So, caller, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. I may I help you. Hi, um, I have a question about um, heel spurls. What over the counter that I can um, buy, purchase to be able to help me with my heel spurls? You're talking about for the pain? Yes, for the pain. Uh, you probably go the same route uh, as I uh, told the previous gentleman, but there's also a form of hemp oil uh, that is topical that you can rub on. Uh, we don't we don't have that form yet. We've still been looking for it, but I would recommend that since your pain is in one particular area, uh, you can use the hemp oil that we place in the mouth on the on the body. Uh, but I wouldn't want you to use you know so much of it. So I would start out with a turmeric, something anti-inflammatory. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you on pain meds okay, currently? Okay, so uh, getting some type of pain, um, what do you recommend that I just have to go to the doctor um, about it? Yeah, but again, you know, you could start out with the turmeric and the hemp oil and see how they do for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So in your case, I, I would definitely use both. You use both? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. Uh huh. Bye bye. All righty. Bye bye. Okay. Let's see. I guess we've done all of our birthday uh, shout outs. Oh, actually, uh, Chelsea's brother, little Artie, uh, Artie Thomas, happy belated birthday to him as well. And of course, my son, Sean Jr., uh, July 29th. So happy birthday to you, Boss Hog. Uh, I also, now there have been, a, we're getting a lot of calls about this Valsartan recall. So I just wanted to briefly explain. So for those of you who are on Valsartan and uh, you've seen in the news about the FDA warnings and all of that. Uh, so kind of what spurned this was uh, the FDA was doing some clinical research, which they, they test every batch that comes out uh, from drug manufacturers just to make sure that it's safe for the public. And in testing, uh, they discovered an impurity called nitrosodiethylamine or NDMA. And this NDMA has been linked as a possible carcinogen, which you know may lead to cancer in people. So the FDA wanted to uh, to make sure that this wasn't out in the public. So they issued the recall uh, for Valsartan. Now, does this mean for everyone that's on Valsartan you need to be worried? Uh, not necessarily. So there were only specific manufacturers. Uh, that they were trying to do the recall for. So if you have the Teva brand, the Solco brand, or the, uh, let's see, what was the other brand? Major, major pharmaceuticals. So those are the only ones um, that the FDA issued the recall for. And our pharmacies, we carry McLeod's. And so we didn't have to participate in the recall. And, and I think the issue was, is that, I mean, this drug came from uh, from China. So I guess the company, uh, that manufactured Valsartan. I guess maybe there was something, some impurities that got into the manufacturing process. And uh, so, 
If you don't have Solco, Teva, or major pharmaceutical brand of Valsartan or Valsartan HCTZ, you're okay. Okay? All right. Oh, and the weird thing about that, most of the drugs, even though we have this big debate about importing medications in and them being uh, unsafe from Canada and Mexico, I promise you the vast majority of our drugs are manufactured overseas. Just as I look in my pharmacy, most of them are made in China or India, or what have you. So it's probably time that we stop playing around with the American people and maybe look at importing uh, drugs directly in here to save on the medication. Uh, let's see. Oh, we wanna get into some supplements here. Uh, so, oh, well, no, 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 I promise, sorry. The opioid laws, so that affect everyone as of July 1. Uh, the first one being gabapentin is now Schedule 5. It is now a controlled substance. It's now a narcotic. Uh, so what does this mean for you? This means that uh, you're going to have to wait exactly 30 days to get your uh, gabapentin refilled. You are going to probably have insurance issues uh, because your, your insurance, if you get another controlled substance like a hydrocodone or an oxycodone uh, in lieu of that, now that's going to be counted into your morphine milli equivalents, which is basically uh, we're looking at the amount of narcotics that you get. Uh, whereas it was ignored before. So, you know, this wound up becoming a drug that was abused itself. It potentiates uh, the effects of opiates. It also, it also helps, you know, to quell some of the sickness during withdrawal. So they, uh, they did their due diligence and uh, go ahead, they went ahead and scheduled this as a drug that is likely to be abused, Schedule 5 narcotic. All right, so I wanted to get into uh, the other opioid law, which is, so, as you know, we have an issue here in Tennessee with, uh, with opioids. So the government's uh, solution for right now is for new patients, if you come into my pharmacy brand new, your doctor writes for 20 tablets, uh, by law, I have to cut that down to a three-day supply. So if you go to the emergency room and you get a 10-day supply of medication, we are only to dispense, we have to cut it in half, and we'll dispense a three-day supply, and then you come back and get the rest. Uh, now, there are some exemptions to this. If you go to a chronic pain management center, this will not affect you. If you are in hospice, this will not affect you. So, um, and I believe like transplant or in-stage renal disease, so the, these situations will not affect you. But if you're a person and you're just going to the dentist or you're getting, uh, you know, something that you don't get every month for the last six months or so for like chronic pain management, uh, then your first trip to the pharmacy, it's most likely gonna be cut in half. So don't get upset with your pharmacist. It is the law. So it looks like we got a couple of calls on here. We're gonna get right back to your calls here. Pharmacist on call, how may I help you? Yes, I was wondering, uh, what's your opinion about using Kratom for pain? Kratom, um, A, it's illegal. Uh, B, I believe that there was some issues. Oh, as far as legality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so other than legality, it uh, seems to be pretty effective. Uh, but I wonder if it also is a gateway product uh, that people wind up becoming uh, dependent on. And then, of course, I believe there was some issue with salmonella poisoning or something to that effect. Okay. Uh, yeah, so. Or something. I think it's in the reverse as far as the, you can get off of uh, opioids using this as an alternative. Yes, you can, but. At work. Yeah, yeah, you can, but I think there have been instances where people have wound up turning to it and staying on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, and that's the difference between that and the hemp oil, and so while the hemp oil will, you know, replace the pain, get rid of the sickness and uh, opioid dependence, it allows you to come off of it and you don't have to take it. So for instance, I had a gentleman call me last Monday, and uh, he said he got his first bottle and he said that he was on three hydrocodone daily, he's now down to one half tablet a day. I think that's on his first bottle of hemp oil. So he can just come off of that, not be sick, and not even need the hemp oil anymore unless he has like a little small bout of pain. You follow me? I think with Kratom, you're going to be on it because it's, it's a natural form of pain medicine, but it's just replacing what you were on. Okay, so 
Rose, does she recommend going with the hemp oil to get away from the other? I, I would recommend going with hemp. Yes, sir. That's right. And that's just, is that an oral dose? Do I understand that correctly? Yeah, yes, sir. So uh, this is an oil. And so you place it sublingually under the tongue. Uh, you let it sit there for about a minute or so. It crosses the membrane under the tongue, which is very thin. It's in the bloodstream. And most people say they feel the effects in seconds. So, okay. yeah, but certainly less than a minute, everybody feels uh, the effect, but not only because of the pain relief, but because hemp has 100 plus chemicals, 100 plus cannabinoids, and each one has a different health benefit. So not only are you getting pain relief, but you're probably most likely getting your... your uh, and that is available locally? Yes, sir. Yeah, at Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy, okay. uh, probably some of your health food stores, or if you live out of the area, go to Pruitt'sDiscountPharmacy.com. Oh, well, we, thank you. We That's been very helpful. I appreciate yes, you very much. All right. Thank you, sir. You bet. Uh -huh. All righty. Pharmacist on call. I may help you. That's me? Yes, ma'am. I'm talking about you. Okay. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I'm good. Um, I have a lot of pain, but you're talking about withdrawal. What? How will I know when I'm having a withdrawal? Oh, so, okay, good question. So some of the symptoms of withdrawal are you will feel nauseated, uh, you will have flu-like symptoms, so you'll be doing, the, you'll do the sweating, uh, you'll be feverish, and I've seen this stuff in action. Uh, you'll have the body aches, so that's how you know that you're withdrawing. I am a little bit. I got a little nauseous because I also went to the doctor on the 16th. Yes, ma'am. And then I, they, I didn't make it, so they reached me for the 24th. Okay. Huh? You need to keep a bottle of this on hand in case you... you, you wait, wait, wait. They rescheduled me for the 24th, and they canceled it because I told them I was kind of nauseated. Yes, ma'am. Nauseated, and I was kind of using the bathroom a lot. Okay. She no. told me the medicine shouldn't do me like that. I, I might have... They are incorrect. So, um, I'm sorry. The, well, indirectly, the medicine's doing that because also diarrhea, your body is withdrawing because it, it needs it now. You're becoming chemically dependent on it. And so the body is throwing no, no, a fit. I don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I did that, but then it stopped. They gave me some nausea medicine, mm -hmm. and they gave me another little pill to stop me from using the bathroom. But mm -hmm. I kept on using I use it regular. Yeah. It don't stop me up. Yeah, Imodium AD, probably, low paramide. It's, it gave me a little little bit of pill, and I had to some pepto -bismol. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, I think the hemp oil will help you when you go through that uh, through that issue, if you can't make your doctor's appointment. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So stop by. First of all, how much the hemp oil cost? Uh, it varies in price, anywhere from $20 to $250, depending on the milligrams that you want. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. okay. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we've got relief for you, Sia. You don't have to get sick. Keep running to the bathroom, missing your TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah, come get okay. you a few drops under the tongue and feel much better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll tell my mom about this. Tell everybody. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. He said, tell everybody. Yeah, I do just that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All righty, bye bye. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone, we are up on our first break. You stay right there. We'll be right back.